Hello Guardians and welcome back to the Amaru Mayu channel. Today I'm here to talk to you about something that has been making me very uneasy. But before we start talking about it, why don't you like this video, comment down below and subscribe to our channel. It was recently my birthday and as I always do, I try to recap everything that has happened over the course of the year. And although I spend a large time confined, I gotta say that I've been more in contact with the world than ever before. That's why, although the world has been watching the coronavirus very carefully for over a year now, it worries me to know that there is a more harmful and silent threat out there that nobody is talking about, and that is the climate emergency in which we find ourselves right now. Perhaps it's not as tangible as a virus, and that's why some still deny its existence, but the effects of hundreds of years of abuse to our planet are becoming more and more evident. In 2020, we experienced a record number of consecutive Category 4 hurricanes in the Atlantic. Forest fires consume part of Australia, the United States, and South America. 10 million people were displaced by historic rains in Africa and Asia. And the heat? The heat reached up to 100 degrees in the polar Arctic. This is the highest temperature to ever be recorded in this part of the world, according to UN reports. Tell me, do you think this is normal? That millions of people, including us, are suffering because of the actions of a few? And no, I'm not talking about the actions of large companies because I believe that responsibility falls on all of us to ensure sustainable production practices and wise stewardship of the planet's natural resources. But we have to wake up now, because before long, the damage to our planet will be irreversible. 2020 was one of the three warmest years recorded in history. Currently, we're at 34 degrees above pre-industrial level. We're only 32.5 degrees away from 14% of the population suffering from extreme heat waves, and 33 degrees from that percentage becoming 40%. This is a damage that will be irreversible, and this simply we cannot afford. Many will say, oh, but with the pandemic, the CO2 emissions have dropped. Yeah, but this is only a temporary effect, and the change that we need is permanent not short term. I tell you, I've seen the consequences of climate change firsthand when in 2017 a hurricane swept through my homeland of Puerto Rico killing thousands of people. It's time to act now. Don't be fooled. Adopt a greener life and support projects for the conservation of the planet because there's no vaccine that will immunize us from climate change. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell. Only with your involvement can we continue to support conservation projects in the Amazon. Join the Amaru Mayu movement. Until next time.